Carl, what did it mean for you to be able to make a play to close out the win? Obviously, the defense had to make a stop there at the end. It meant, it meant a lot, you know, just being in the right place at the right time, uh, being able to read the quarterback eyes and, and, and making a play. You know, that's what we got to do every week. Uh, you know, a week in and week out, uh, it's any given Sunday. So you never know what play is going to change it. You never know when that play is going to come. So uh, for me to have that play at the end, uh, was huge. Next question will come from Rick Stroud. Carlton, what, what did you make of uh, the Justin Herbert? And did you, what adjustments did you make, you think, to him to, to play so much better in the second half? He's running the ball a lot. And, um, you know, uh, kudos to him as a rookie quarterback. He really came in uh, prepared. Um, his accuracy was really good. And uh, he's going to be a really good player. But uh, we just had to make some adjustments in the run game and uh, continue to play top down football in the back end. Next question will be from Jenna Lang. You've talked before about Brady's performances and, and how much he inspires you guys. For him to go out there and overcome a pick six, he throws five touchdowns in the game, four of them after that pick six. What can you say about him, and what did that do for you guys as a defense? He's the GOAT, and there's, that's as simple as I can put it. He's the GOAT, um, Tom Brady, you know. He's a great player. Uh, even better to play off of him. You know, having him go down and score touchdowns gives us a lot more energy on our sidelines and just gives the whole sideline more confidence in the comeback that we had today. And what about for you guys as a defense? Was there anything that was said at halftime for you guys? Because everybody collectively needed to clamp down uh, to be able to do this. But you guys in particular, in order to give your offense a chance to, to grab the lead and pull ahead. Yeah, we just had to get our, our, our head out of our butts and uh, make some plays and be aggressive. You know, play that defense that we've been playing the, putt, the previous three games. And uh, that's what we did, man. Like I said, any given Sunday, uh, all, all kind of obstacles are going to occur. And it's all about how you battle back. So I think we, get, we did a good job of battling back today. Next question is from Leo Haggerty. Well, it looked like the first half that Justin Herbert was able to stand in there against the blitzes. Did you change your schemes the second half to get to him a little more? Yeah, we was a little bit more aggressive in the second half and um, to kind of, you know, put more pressure on them and uh, give them different looks. And, um, you know, from then we just had to play ball. We had to play better. We had to read our keys. We had to uh, be more disciplined in our coverage. So, um, you know, halftime we made some adjustments and it worked. Uh, first question will come from Greg Amon. Hey, and Dominic, I just want to ask you about that fumble you forced there at the end of the half and, and how much it did to spark things to get you guys back in the game. First of all, did you expect them to even run a play in that situation that late in the half? Yeah, for sure. They had timeouts, if I remember correctly, uh, and they got into a formation that we've seen before. Uh, and so I anticipated uh, just getting off the ball. Uh, obviously, the back was offset to me, so I knew uh, the majority of the run was going to go I, towards Vita, and he was going to set the edge. So I jumped the gap and uh, saw an opportunity to make make a play. What did that do for you guys, J just to open things up and turn so much of the momentum back in your favor before halftime? I think, like you said, it created some momentum for us. Uh, Tom and the offense did a great job of punching it in, getting a touchdown, uh, and allowed us to build off of that. Uh, that's what we have to do as a defense, make sure we give them as many opportunities to score points because uh, we know we've got plenty of firepower over there. It's just about getting opportunities and, and getting the job done. Hey, and Donna Khan, I just wanted to get your uh, impressions on Justin Herbert. It looks like you guys hit him a lot, um, especially as he was releasing the ball. What did you think of him as a rookie? Watching on film, he's uh, he's a great talent. Uh, I can see why they drafted him. Uh, big quarterback, good strong arm, can make plays with his feet. Uh, we knew some of his weaknesses and wanted to get after him. Um, so obviously being a young quarterback was the biggest thing is finding those weaknesses and, and pressuring pressuring him and making sure he uh, has to read a defense and make plays. And so uh, that's what our focus was. Did the character of this team really show um, today when you get down like you did? Uh, 100%. Uh, and Coach B.A. said that uh, just understanding that what we had to do, uh, most teams would, would fall and uh, kind of crack and seeing where we're at, uh, especially going into half or even before half, more or less, uh, and just understood that we needed to – find a play, uh, especially on the defense side of the ball, because we gave up too much in the first half, and we need to start playing like we did in the second half, make plays. Next question will come from Scott Smith. Uh, the first home game with fans in the stands, and I know it wasn't full, obviously, but uh, B.A. was saying how he actually enjoyed hearing them uh, kind of chirping some negative things towards you guys to kind of fire you up a little bit. How much did the fans play a role, and could you hear them from the sidelines? I was actually talking to one of our support staff, uh, the first home game that we had, just the aura felt a little bit off and a little bit different, um, especially just going out there before the game. But for a guy like me who's been around, been in the league uh, for 11 years now, just understanding, I really just kind of 
tune out the crowd, regardless whether we're home or away. Uh, and the only time I really feed off the crowd is when we're in a, on away games and like hearing them silent. So uh, for me, it's always great for our fans to be there uh, and it's appreciated our, their support. Um, but at the end of the day, it, for, for me personally, I kind of tune it out as we get into the game. Next question will come from Leo Haggerty. And Dominican, the Chargers were playing with three new offensive linemen. Is it mm -hmm. harder for you to go against someone where you haven't had film to watch or is it just instinct that takes over when the gun goes off to start the game? Uh, I think for me, when I look at a, a situation that we had and not have them not having Trey Turner or Balaga, uh, their starters, um, you got to understand what they want to do. They want to keep it pretty basic, understand they're running run their offense. Uh, and then we do get into passing situations about going back to your technique and understand that uh, – you got to feel regardless. You got to see what they're going to give you, uh, make plays, so you can have things pre-programmed, ready to go. Uh, but you got to be able to switch it up on the fly. So that's a situation for me. I'm just starting out the game that way.